Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Uh, Spanner Man again here with another video. Hope you enjoy the video today. Please subscribe to the channel. Any comments, thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Uh, Spanner Man again here with another video. Today we're going to talk about a little product that I brought called a pocket chain breaker. So this says on there that it's it's got a punch, and you know B, uh, yeah, it'll fit quarter inch, three two five, three eight, and four o four. So we'll just take it apart. It's made out of high carbon steel, and you get the uh, anvil. Does your quarter inch, your three two five, and your three eight, and on the back. It does uh, half inch, seven sixteenths, and uh, 404 and 354, whatever 354 is. And you've got your two punches. Your, pun your first punch there is, well, it doesn't focus very good, but that's to punch out the uh, pin or the rivet. And that one's to flare over a new rivet. Now, interesting enough, these take quite a bit of force to knock out a new rivet and you've got to be careful that when you're using one of these uh, that you use it on a block of metal if you don't have a block of metal you've got a little small bit of railway line just make sure that if you do it that you do it on something real sturdy block of timber isn't the best you're better off with some sort of metal if you can't get yourself a bit of railway line, try and get yourself a bit of I-beam or something. But try and find something solid. Anyway, I really don't recommend using these with a hammer because you've got to use a lot, a lot of force. And it's quite easy uh, to slip and hit your hand. Yesterday, I was using, this is a really high quality uh, punch made by Proton in America. And uh, it just snapped. And I was using it to punch out, uh, to break the chain. And I'd done one. And I got to the other side. And uh, yeah, that was the end of that. There it is there. I don't know whether you can see that, but I only got this side here. <laughs> So I sort of thought, hmm, not a very good idea the, uh, using those, these here. As I said, they do work, but you've got to use a lot of, lot of force with the hammer. And if you slip off the punch and you hold the punch like that, you, you can hit your hand and that can hurt. So there is an easier way, still using this system, and that is... And I've, I've prepared two here for you so that you can see, is that you use an angle grinder or a bench grinder and you grind the rivet heads. So it's just as easy to grind the rivet heads off. And as you can see there, I've ground, ground them off. And you don't need much of a hammer. And you don't even need a, a steel block. You can do it on a bit of timber. So once you've ground the rivet heads off, we'll just turn that over to 3.8. And you'll be surprised how many people uh, sometimes try to break the tooth, uh, break the chain where the tooth is. Always break between the teeth. The tie strap is the only part that gets broken. A little bit fiddly sometimes when you put in the, uh, just got to try and find the right spot. There's the right spot. Now, we use the punch, and just to show, I'll just, show you that you can use a nylon hammer so the other thing is because when you ground it off sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see the center but this is just a nylon hammer you've barely got a look i've already just broken it look so easy to break i'll just do that again we've got another one here it, it's a lot safer that's the other thing. Uh, you don't want to be using a big hammer, as I said, if you slip. Uh, this one's a little bit harder. 
Evet, thuis. So, that is a lot easier and it's a lot safer. Now there, that was $28 for that kit. Uh, so, there, they're a little bit on the expensive side, so... It's not uh, something that I'd highly recommend. It was just as easy that if you get a bit of metal yourself and just use a grinder and grind two slots at the right width, you can do that, which will equally work as good. Now, I said that was $28 for the kit. And for an extra $50, around $80, you get yourself an Oregon type breaker that comes with a adjustable vice, which is much better. You're much better off using something like this. Much safer. You don't have to smash the rivets uh, with your hand. So if you are making your own loops up, you're much better off with something like this. It's much safer. It has a hardened pin in there it's a little bit difficult to see i don't know whether you can see it but there is a little pin in there you can just see it this pin probably goes in about another one inch and is held in through a uh, grub screw there so this is a very hard pin they're about eight dollars to replace they will last you a very long time the most important thing using one of these is that you make sure that that little pin is dead smack in the middle of the rivet if you have it on the side of the rivet you can damage the pin or bend it well, believe me because i've done it so to get a long time out of the pin make sure it's always dead smack in the middle and make sure that the vice you've got a little adjustable vice here which are, these are brilliant just make sure that it's nice and tight on the tie strap so and, and the chain always goes, uh, the drive links face away from you. So when you're using the vise, just make sure that it goes on the tie strap and you tighten it up on the tie strap. And always the vise will go in between the two drive links. I'll just set it up here. It's a little bit fiddly, so I'll just do it on the bench and see if I can show you where it goes. Okay, I've got it now. Only it took two seconds to, to do it. So if you do use one of these, and believe me, when I first got it, I made a mistake. You'll notice the two drive links are roughly almost on the corner. I couldn't push that over. You'll notice that's slightly off the edge because of the tooth that's underneath here. So, And if you tighten it up and it puts a firm grip on there, then you can uh, punch it quite good. Look, if you are breaking chains using one of these, you could, if you wanted to, slightly grind them, but these have got a lot of force on them, and they do break the chain very good. Uh, but if you wanted it to work a lot easier and last a lot longer, uh, you could slightly grind them, just a slight grind on the top, so... No, I don't do that, but I've heard of one person that tells me that they slightly grind them, whether they're using one of these or whether they're using the, the two uh, punches. So if you were to buy one of these or, or make one of these, very easy to make. All of the, after I made it, I heated it up to red hot. I quenched it in oil, then I preheated it up till it turned blue again, and then put it in water. So... Yeah, it uh, ha case hardens it. So you can case harden uh, mild steel. Uh, so that's just slightly case hardened. But again, it's only going to be used for uh, uh, breaking chain when it's been pre-ground. Here's another little vice out there on the market. You'll see these on eBay or something. Not a big fan of these. They do work, but a little bit fiddly. <coughs> that's why I like... Oh, excuse me. That's why I like the uh, adjustable, because you can't make an, a mistake with the adjustable uh, clamping mechanism. Look, that's about it. Uh, it's uh, as simple as what it is breaking a chain. You can make mistakes. 
do yourself a favor uh pre-grind uh if, if it's a uh if you don't have one of these and you don't need a spinner or a chain breaker like this to break loops as i said you could grind them with an angle grinder a little small angle grinder just grind the rivet heads off and as you saw you can just break them and you can join them with a ball peen hammer just tap 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 around the new master link very easy to do with minimal cost so if you don't want to spend the money and you want to do some uh, chain breaking yeah just remember grind the heads off easy peasy all right thanks for watching give us a thumbs up bye for now